Hello. Ice here. Cross code. The last part, we made it to this room. And this part, let's head to the left. Oh. <laughs> There's a fight. I was just gonna walk into the wall and j then Joe's like, okay, we headed to the left. And then, yeah. <laughs> then, of course, like, be serious after that. Just, you know, pretend to be ending off the episode for just a moment. Anyway, these bird things seem really easy. So there will probably be a, a much more bothersome variant later. I guess you probably come here from somewhere else and need to use the puzzle elements. They didn't, weren't relevant to the fight at all, so there's a broken window. Oh, is that where the birds got in? Uh, okay. There's electricity there. Oh. <laughs> I forgot that yellow was the color of... Oh, right. I... Sometimes I, I don't look at all the elements. I thought I was supposed to hit it into that diagonal sur- oh. Diagonal surface and then that would send it left off to somewhere useful. Okay, so we gotta hurry after we hit this orb. I probably need that key. Oh, I hit the button on my way through. We're, we're good. Wait, this is- We've been in this room before, right? I don't need to do anything else here. We got a key. If only I remembered where I needed a key. But it has in fact been like three or four days. Let's go down. I thought maybe that would be the room we needed the key in, because they provide us the sub warp there. Alright, well. Hmm, not seeing any obvious set exits that weren't taken here. I guess, yeah, of course we haven't been up there, but that's where we just were. Have I been up there? Ah. Maybe let's actually angle it correctly. Oh, I was not the key thing that time. Yeah, a lot of stuff in this game is just really- oh. I was starting to say really finicky. Oh right, you want to range attack these, like, a lot. You just tanked that. <laughs> Alright. Glad we didn't overcharge all the way, because I really wasn't keeping track. Okay, so we can clearly warp to there. And do we, like, bounce a shot to... Okay, for a second I was like, is the window broken exactly where you need to bounce the shot off? <laughs> that would have been silly. Alright. Direct link request. Oh, those large wave balls. How do they even work? They make my brain hurt. Yeah, they are strange, but they do make sense if you watch them closely. Wait, don't tell me anymore. I'll figure it out myself. By the way, did you already meet the, I think, third enemy type? You mean the floaty fog thingies? Yep. Right, those weird ghosts. Why can't I just punch them? They're ghosts. You can't simply punch ghosts. Well, that is until we finally get the element of this temple, I suppose. Oh, that's right! I can't wait for that moment. I'm probably almost there. Uh, anyway. See, my theory was that each one of these balls goes to a different one of these end things. So let's see. First this goes down, and then we probably just want it... This... You obviously send it diagonal. Because it'll just go... Yeah. There's nowhere good to send it otherwise. 
I guess you probably don't need both solutions to be active at once, so I should just do one, then the other. Right. I'm just thinking, how do I rotate this one into position? I was thinking, oh yeah, you just send it left and then up, but, uh... I don't think there's a way I can send it anywhere other than either straight or diagonal in a direction. Diagonal down and right is obviously right out. So let's see. Just let's make sure I remember how these things work. Yes, it did go where I expected it to. But what do I do with that? Maybe I'm a little more lost on this puzzle than I had ever suspected. That one, interestingly. Yeah. Yeah, let's just try the reactions to various angles of that. Okay, so it did go straight, as I suspected. Just taking a minute to remember how these work, because it's been a few days. Okay, actually, can I hit? I can hit that. I don't know if it's useful to do so, but I can. I can also send it into this, I bet. But that seems even less useful. <laughs> hmm. I wonder, are the purple lines any sort of hint? They usually are. I mean, I hit the thing. It doesn't seem to have had any sort of lasting effect, though. You clearly can't do all four at once. There's just no way you send them all in motion within a reasonable amount of time. Maybe I need to follow the pathways laid out more exactly? Have that one hit that one? Maybe you need to do two at once, but not all four. In which case, I do need a solution that does things for both at the same time. Which I think is actually this. Okay, but we can trigger the left one first. Because it has a longer path. Okay! So yeah, you just follow the lines. And sometimes... You have multiple ways you can send one of them just because... Or, I mean, um... Sometimes you have multiple orientations of these that work for one of them, so you can choose which one works for the other one at the same time. I hope I'm, like, saying words in ways that make sense while simultaneously trying to solve this. Okay, so this time, it's again the inner one that has the longer path. There we go. Alright, it appears we're not immediately granted the element. Now these things, they will warp if I bounce my shot off of them into the warp thing. Although what happens if you do it with two? Does the second one warp? They both warp. And they created a stack. <laughs> Why am I 
pushing this one over here? Okay. As I suspected once I asked why I was pushing this one over there, you need the way down the switch. Uh. Oh, and then you jump to the... Yeah. So that only exists as long as one of these is on it. So I need to figure out how to bounce off both of these things, and I, you basically just follow the diagonal purple lines. I guess I just assumed that I would need to create a stack again. Uh, we can move this one a little inward more. Uh, wait, the warp is there. Uh, I can move this once it's lowered. Imagine. Uh, but where? I guess maybe more in line with the diamond points? Oh, you need... Both bounces need to happen after hitting the wave thing. Also, you can't push this thing onto the wave emitter for some reason. Let's actually, um, way down this and place ourselves at the bottom point. Does this work? If I push this back in. Uh. Oh, right, it doesn't work because the projectile needs to already be a wave projectile when it hits the thing. So let's go back with vague, vaguely what I was working on before. Something like this? Was that the intended solution? I have my doubts, but it worked. Uh, I can't get around this. I need to push it back out a little. Okay, solved the puzzle. Looks like we're teleporting into some combat here. Looks like we're teleporting into a lot of combat here. No, you're the first one's awake. Oh wait, I'm supposed to warp. It's hard to fight when you forget how every enemy works. I can't believe that warp didn't confuse them, except I totally can. Forget how you defeat Beefy Arms Flower. Did I actually figure out how to fight them, or did I just hit them with enough ranged attacks that they died? I think I can just finish him off while he's charging that up. Okay, now if I just. Okay, never mind. I was starting to say if I just stop taking damage, then it will regenerate all the health. Okay. Once more with feeling. And at least remembering sooner how that attack works. Oh wait, uh, I'm on the wrong end of this. Wait, you need to, like, bait them into a, a short-range attack or something, don't you?
Uh, that might have been how I killed them before. Anyway, let's run around until they do that. So let's... Okay, you're frost weak enemies. Uh, got him. gonna fall off, isn't he? Nope. Oh, but I need the warp. <laughs> okay, they're also frost weak. Bird! Oh yeah, they are troublesome when they fly up high. I kind of want to deal with the robot first. Uh, although the bird apparently will keep blocking my ability to deal with the robot. I like the way the whirl attack keeps the other enemy off of me while I'm dealing with the one that's broken. It's a really convenient feature. hundred percent success rate, but, uh, works well enough. Alright, we still don't have the confirmed number of enemies that need killed. Okay, it's down to two. Oh, but they're ghosts. That attack is just really strong. At least it's easy to, uh, break through their thing in this battle. There was that one battle where I just never did it. Oh, right. You can't punch them. I'm just gonna, yeah, finish off that one. Yeah, he got to heal. I think it was worth it. Ow. I think that sandwich will guarantee success. <laughs> How often do you hear that? <laughs> that sandwich will guarantee success. Yeah, I was just a little scared. Looks like we didn't need the sandwich. But like, we were kinda low. 104 XP from that last enemy. We must be pretty close to leveling. Oh yeah, 910. Out of a thousand, as always. But now it's time, even before leveling, to spend a bunch of skill points. Wave mode is active. Achieve unlocked. What is that, anyway? Press left to switch to wave mode at any time. Oh, right, I can just actually hit them. I was like, where's the thing that I shoot my wave shots, or er, shoot my shots through to get wave? Turns out I'm dumb. Um... Or at least, like, I needed a moment to remember that those are not inextricably linked to the wave element converters. Huh. Are there any other melee arts? Or there's just the one? And it's not a whirl? Can't believe wave is the worst element. Because it doesn't have a whirl attack. <laughs> Just grabbing everything that costs one point. As I did last time I got an element. 
Okay. I guess... I feel like the passives here are more useful and I don't use dash arts. Okay, let's make sure we get our throw art. Hit enemies with a swarm of projectiles absorbing its HP. Shoot a super fast projectile penetrating a line of enemies. Oh, regeneration. Nice. Better version of the previous tech. Also better version of the one I didn't pick. Okay, wave is the healing element. What do I want now, though? Let's make our status effect that we inflict build up faster. Increased resistance to the opposite element seems really good. Alright. Points spent. Not merely attack that, we still need the giant orb. Oh, that's on an upper level. So what can we do from here? We can't get our shot in there to warp. We can warp to here for some reason. Oh. I wasn't sure if this was actually in the middle, or, like, if I was just, you know, getting owned by perspective. Oh. We're here for some reason. Oh, because now we can, from the upper level, warp to the other upper level. Here. button. Oh, you have to hold it. So obviously you shoot from here, but at what angle? Oh, this just does it. <laughs> Simple. Also, the way in there looks like it's permanently open now. Uh, where are we trying to blast this to? So we could do that to hit the orb up, in fact, oh right, but charge attacks aren't going to charge it fast enough. Oh, and then we're trying to get the orb to there. Got him. Alright, we buttoned. Oh boy. The puzzle starts there. Okay, and then you warp to there, and then you warp to here, and then you probably warp to there, but why do you shoot to do so? That worked. I don't know if I want to try to line up that same shot every time. Coming in that way, and then up, and then, d d and then back. And then it hits the speed thing. And bam. Okay. So it's just basically a flow around the room, except you double back at some point. Oh. 
And that's how you reset easily, that last one that I just shot. Alright, this might take a few tries. I'm not super good at quickly lining up my angles. Ah. Maybe it would be easier with a mouse. Also, it's funny that just trying to shoot the one that's near the wall there happens to work. Where did I shoot before for this one? Okay, that'll work. Just shoot the triangle in the corner. Although... I wonder if doing that will fail the puzzle in other ways. Also, how do I get out of here? I think I just gotta go forward. Oh, there's a shop bouncing around? Uh... Oh, they absorb your shots if something else has hit one of them. Oh wait, you just shoot directly right! I'm dumb! Or at least not observant. One of those things. I might be in the middle of doing a timed puzzle, which may make it slightly harder to observe. Yeah, just shoot directly right. Yeah, just run off the platform. I, I might have panicked a little there, but we're getting there. This is the one. Uh, this is not the one. Can I at least get back this way? Okay. Oh, I... yeah. It is this button again, but I mixed up... Still, made it farther than before. Right, so both the Wave and Spark Dungeons have a really tricky slowed-down projectile puzzle. Interesting parallel there. that final button, and then we're there. Uh-oh. How many attempts has it been since I said this was the one? Like, 8,000? Or at least, like, 5? Pretty similar numbers. You can see how I'd get confused. Okay. We've done it. to either side.
just gonna let that happen for the sake of clearing out the rest of the enemies on that side. Okay, Overcharge is only halfway up. The border of the screen looks a little scary, but... We had shots left. Alright. Okay, you gonna... Yeah. Anyway, that doesn't seem like a bad technique. So wait, is this just back, back to entrance? Okay. And boss time, presumably. Or they're really excited about introducing this normal enemy. Some sort of turbo ghost? Okay. Let's just dodge nothing. Oh. Of course, you break him and he goes into this sort of phase. Did I not get the level 2 melee technique? Oh, ow. Waiting on overcharge a little. Ah. I guess maybe I should stay in wave form even while I'm waiting on overcharge. I thought it recovered better in neutral form, but it was just if you're only if, ah, if you're actually attacking. Oh right, he's intangible because he's a ghost. I was just trying to get my overcharge back, but apparently we just need to wait it out. Oh, the shape is different. Oh, I'm shocked. if it decreases at all when you're not in neutral form. I might have just been slow. Alright, fully dodged that attack. Uh, that's not wave. At least like that for each phase, the pattern of rock is the same. Ow. Ow. Oh yeah, of course it's more. We advanced in phases. Scroll the screen with the analyze. I thought you could. Like, if I shoot down into this, it just goes down more. I'd need to be able to shoot up into that. Oh, but there's a, a thing on that side. I just prepped the wrong one. Oh. 
I don't know why I'm just like tanking this boss with items, but felt the need to do the slime boss without items. Oh. I got interrupted. Alright, we healed. <laughs> I know all the iframes. Is that so? I don't know if that's accurate, but thanks achievement. I was just shooting into the orb anyway, so no point in continuing to attack. Alright, I figured I could break him before his attack would be relevant. Let's not die right at the end. Okay, got him. I know, I guess I just don't like dealing with really fast attacks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we used items. I guess I'm running a little over on time. I wonder when I entered the boss fight. Oh, well. Oh, we won! I thought it would be, uh, Emily wins this one, and then... Lee wins the temple on top. Yep, just second. Hi. Too bad, I thought I had a pretty good run this time. The boss at the end was pretty neat. Darn it, last one again. I thought you'd do well since you figured out the puzzle so quickly. Well, I had a pretty hard time at the last section. Too many of those enemies. Yeah, that was quite something, wasn't it? Alors, the space bird is waiting. I don't know what Alors means, so I, so I just read it that time, I guess. I also may not know how to pronounce it. Anyway, a little spark can grant life to any creature of this world. Yet a most furious thunder will humble all those creatures in awe. Among the fiercest of lightning, you stayed persistent. With calm and calculated waves, you phased through electric discord. You, the traveler, the envoy of change, you have proven yourself worthy. Take this shade, one of a pair, to reach the grand tree. Purple bolt shade obtained. Let your every step form the path of your growth. We always walk in the light of the Triforce. Er, anyway, congratulations, Seeker. You collected the purple bolt shade, one of the two shades required to enter the Grand Criscaggio. But now that you've collected both of the shades, it is time to take on the final challenge of Gaia's Garden. Take this reward for your accomplishments. Circuit override. <laughs> what a surprise. Good luck and stay vigilant. And yes, I have been intentionally mixing Final Fantasy XIV's May Always Walk in the Light of the Crystal with May the way of the hero always lead to the Triforce, or whatever, from Link to the Past. And done! So that means we're finally ready for that Grand Something dungeon, right? Yep. Awesome! This place here is pretty nice, don't you think? I'd like to have a small look around before we continue. Sure, though I have to admit that huge electric stream up there makes me slightly nervous. Alright. The creations of Quinn. The creator of storms and lightning. Her strong winds keep our world in constant motion. Her fierce thunderstorms are awe-inspiring, sparking curiosity within us. Finally, her little sparks also give life to every creature of this world. I guess it is a video game, so yeah. <laughs> it all started when the Orbis, the ethereal god of creation, was born into the emptiness of the void. After pondering for aeons in solitude, his desire for company gave birth to the gods of shape. Quinn is one of those gods, born a twin to Gaoni. She is the god of the Pentagon and the creator of storms and lightning. Pentagon. So the Pentafist. Presumably. I thought Pentafist was fire. Or was fire the Triblader? Anyway, Gaoni, the creator of ever-flowing waters and twin brother of Quinn, was busy filling our planet with oceans and lakes. The water overflowing from the lakes was slowly moving down. To, to, yeah, we kind of saw this from the other perspective. You create the wind, the waters were preferred quiet and stuff, saw creatures playing with the waves and using the winds to travel across the ocean, they reluctantly agreed to keep it. Okay, created stronger and stronger winds, feared some storms, Gaoni quickly interfered, it was a terrible mistake to make it up to her twin brothers, she created many creatures live deep within the waters. 
Message of the Sky. When Diara and Diorvis witnessed the advancements of the Sombra Kind, they decided to send a message of the sky wrapped in an envelope of solid rock and ice. Yes, this, we've read this before. As he sent out the envelope, Diara was ever so careful, only giving it the slightest nudge after Ellie didn't want his creation of the Earth and Mountains to be damaged when the message arrived. Yes, they, they were impatient. The message would never arrive in time. Quinn then remembered how her kind could withstand her most powerful thunderstorms and fierce hurricanes. She was confident that we would receive a fast approaching message just as well. Without hesitation, Quinn reached back and gave the envelope a massive blow, launching towards us at high speeds. It is thanks to her confidence and her resilience that her kind received the message of the sky in time. Interesting. I think we didn't necessarily get the end of that before. Anyway, looking around, because Katron wanted to, and like... He's my boy. I may have taken a while to remember his name, but like, he, he's a cool nerd. Okay, we've looked around. Hmm. I guess- oh. <laughs> I got too close. <laughs> I was gonna say, I guess we'll open this up next time. Question mark? What's this? What's what? Wait, something is coming from down there. Dots. Question mark? Exclamation mark. Oh, you have got to be kidding. Not the bird people. Again. Seeker! Hi. I'm so sorry, I could not stop them. Why? The Wiccats, they're back already. Some of my people have been attacked. Yeah, now they're gonna shut down the power plant for real? Hey Tara, it's been a while, and you brought a lot of company as well. It's Dr. Kretschia. We're in trouble! Let me guess, the cats are back? Yes, how'd you know? Well, we got them too, right at the power plant. That's terrible! No, that's perfect! We got them right where I want them. This is the perfect opportunity to res research the heck out of them. To determine their source, the actual reason for their existence. Spoilers, it won't be the power plant. Wish I had your confidence. Oh, I don't need confidence, I have science! Anyway, Tyra, please try to keep your folks calm. Can't have them charge the power plant for the time being. I'll try my best. Seeker, hi. You have experience in dealing with those wick cats, correct? Yep. Follow me. Very great. Follow me. I need your assistance as soon as possible. Shatter, ready to fight. Dr. Lou Crecia thinks she can resolve the ongoing tension by finding the true cause for their infestation of the jungle. Help her. Yeah, she's like. Er, she's the kind that takes your assistance for granted. Still, this might be our only chance to resolve this conflict peacefully. Let's all work together. Okay. Looks like we have to solve another little quest before entering the last dungeon. Yes, yes, it would have been too easy otherwise, I guess. Anyway. We're already at the 43 minute mark, so, uh, should probably end off, but we have all four elements now. We are the master of elements. <laughs> Watching the numbers on the stats during that is silly. Also, just the rainbow in the middle of the screen. Anyway, see ya!